everyone has heard, the customer is always right. Zendesk strives to put businesses everywhere their customers are. Does the stock have the power to give investors everything they want? What a week to come out to San Francisco. We've now got a chance to check in with some of the hottest cloud-based software companies around, which brings me to Zendesk. Here's a company that helps other businesses communicate with their customers in a seamless way. Now, I told you I like this stock on a pullback at the end of February, but as it happens, it only came down from 79 to 75 for quickly resuming its fabulous March higher, climbing to $89 as of today. The latest leg, the end of April. Zendesk reported a terrific beat and raise quarter with accelerating revenue growth at an astounding 41% pace. And while the market initially didn't seem to care, the stock has since made a phenomenal rebound. Can you keep climbing? Let's take a closer look with Mikkel Svein. He's the founder, chairman, and CEO of Zendesk. Learn more about how his company's doing where it's headed. Mr. Svein, welcome to May of Money. Thank you. Thanks for having Good me. Good to see you, sir. And welcome to sunny San Francisco. Well, uh, <laughs> but May, it's supposed to be beautiful. We got it wrong. Uh, First time on the show, so I want you to just first tell people exactly what you do, because I am in awe of your customer list. Thank you. But I need everyone to know how you got all them, because you have a particular skill. Thank you. Well, we are a, we are a software company. We build uh, software solutions for better customer engagement, better customer service, better customer experiences. We have more than 100,000 brands using our software. We are 3,000 people headquartered here in San Francisco. My broken English is because of my background from Denmark, but we've been in San Francisco for 10 years, and it's been amazing. Well, what's amazing interesting, you were public for a long time before you caught fire. It's almost as if that everybody kind of realized that they're at a competitive disadvantage if they don't use Zendesk. It just turned on. <laughs> what was the, give me the arc here. Well, I think like what we've seen over the last 10 years is that customer expectations have changed like crazy. You know, and like, a lot of the, our opportunity to work and our privilege to work with a lot of the companies here in San Francisco and Silicon Valley that have changed the world and yeah. changed the world of customer expectations. The companies like Ubers, the Airbnb, the Pinterest, all these companies completely changed how we use services. Uh, we have worked with all of these guys and it has helped helped shape us as a company, and it has set a new bar for how people are expecting the customer service and the customer engagement from the products and the services they're using today. And what happens to a, a company that just basically says, you know what, uh, we can go it alone, we don't need you guys, versus if they're going up against uh, Uber, Airbnb, Slack, Peloton. It, they're just, they do, how would you know how to do it without you? Well, it, it is. <laughs> well, thank no, because when I look at the list, so I mean, it's every company we think of as great customer service, but they are powered by you. Yeah, we, we definitely help them provide great customer experiences. Right. We definitely help them provide great customer experience. And that is kind of, that is the new currency of today. Like, you can't build, you can have the greatest product in the world, you have the greatest service in the world. If you don't provide a great customer experience to, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna survive. You start you started out with one product. You just have layered on product after product. Are these examples, are these things that the customer wanted that you, you know, please help us with this? Is that how you responded? Well, I think that we started very much in the world of, of kind of traditional inbound customer service. Okay. But like in the, in the world of CRM, like all customer the different, dis yeah, CRM, the customer relationship management, the, all the disciplines within that touches the customer, whether that be in the sales side, the shopping side, the service side, the marketing side, all of these things, they seamlessly flow together. And from the customer, it's just one big experience. You don't want to know if you talk to sales or marketing or support. You just have want to have one experience. And that's why it's important for us to, to help power all these experiences and bring them together. Now, how are you going to be able to compete? You compete, I know their product, with Salesforce. Salesforce is a gigantic company. How do you, I mean, you've been winning some big enterprises. What, what's that competition like? Well, it, it, competition is great. But like, I know that we, Customers go with senders. Customers come to us because they want to keep up with customer expectations. That's just that's not just about like transformation or digital mm -hmm. transformation. It's really about staying agile, staying quick, and keeping up with the constant change of customer expectations. Because that's the world we are in today. What is working today, what is fantastic today, it's going to be mundane tomorrow. So you're telling me what really happened here in our in our culture is that some guys got it, and we started realizing being put on hold or be, uh, having dropped or just some cold email would make it so that you would die. 
Yep. Because other guys got good at this. Exactly. Because it is the front. It's how we deal with these companies. Yep. It, it, it totally it totally is. And like it's a generational thing thing too. Like there's probably like different generations have different expectations. Right. My kids are gonna be ruthless. Yeah, they are. Ruthless. I mean my kids they <laughs> just do not accept no. what I've learned to accept. <laughs> exactly. I always expect to be treated badly. <laughs> I, I do when I'm treated well. Like, I'm kind of shocked, frankly. Now, uh, how about partnerships? I think you'd be a natural we had uh, Shantanu and Ryan on the other day. Do you be natural to partner with uh, Adobe or, or Satya at Microsoft, SAP? Do you uh, plan on some uh, alliances there? Well, I think that what what we have done most recently is that we launched a new platform concept that we built right. in the Sunshine. Uh, exactly, it's called Sunshine. It's built in AWS. It's open. It's super scalable. It's very very developer friendly, and it allows you as a business to tie all the different things so together. Okay, so you go to Amazon Web Services <laughs> and you, you direct people to Amazon Web Services. That. Uh, it, That's a huge re-platforming going on. Right, like every right. business are moving more and more their infrastructure to AWS. And it's because it's an architectural change. It's a new way of being able to tie everything together without necessarily having to rely on formal uh, partnerships between these businesses. So that's very much what we believe in. Uh, how did you get the accelerated revenue growth, 41%? That's extraordinary. Well, I mean, you kind of percolated, boom. We, we have, we, like, our customers is at a run rate of serving, like, a billion uh, consumers right, and, and customers right. every single year. And it's really like helping our customers keeping up with the massive demand and the massive expectations that are from businesses well, today. You know, I feel bad. You know, I because we opine on you on the lightning round. I feel terrible that I didn't know your company. I mean, you were so powerful, but obviously you're, I got that you're a humble guy. You're not promotional. And no, I mean, when I saw the customers, I said, how could I not know this? But you just do it for the other guys, right? You do it for the customer. <laughs> well, I think it's, I think we are in a magical place. You know, really being part of this revolution, empowering customers, empowering businesses to provide much better customer experience, and we really enjoy it. Well, you do a terrific job. And that's Mikkel Spain. He's founder and CEO of Zendesk, Z-E-N. I am sorry I didn't bring this company to you earlier. That is my bad. Please still stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.